before the show we were wondering are they missing suresh raina i mean the answer could be maybe no but it, they need something yeah they do I, i'm not sure what the entire answer to it is i mean suresh raina is a blow but again he's another guy only playing ipl to ipl and i think as we've talked about so often joy this tournament is is a tough tough ask it's world class tournament you cannot be playing ipl to ipl otherwise you are going to get exposed aren't you no absolutely and i think the other thing is that look through each and every one of the other sides okay you look at uh, bangalore they have devdas padikal coming in so you have shivan duve coming through delhi capitals young core anyway you know prithvi shaw rishabh pant where do you start where do you begin uh, you have mumbai you have rahul chahar who's bowled beautifully rajasthan tevatia but not just tevatia you have a look at the young uh, batsmen up front sanju samson everybody has got you know kolkata night riders you know mavi nagar koti everyone has young kids shubman gill coming through the system Okay, and today we saw two very special kids coming through the system for the SRH. Who are the kids coming through the Chennai system? And that's a critical difference. You know what happens in the NBA when teams happen. You know, teams reign for a long time. And look, CSK has never missed a playoff in their history. No other team has that record. Okay, what happens is that you do get that consistency by retaining a core. But when you retain a core, you pay a price. You can't pick up fresh new talent that easily because you've got to keep this core. busy and interested and give them games and when that core gets older and ages and ages imperceptibly it happens imperceptibly because they won a title in 2018 even the finals in 2019 suddenly ages come up on them and then ran are not being there and it's what they call a perfect storm at this point in time csk is looking around for fresh young talent to throw at this problem and they don't have it yeah i think and, that's and the problem to their that. choice sorry gotham is you're paying the core so too much crore <laughs> and so you can't afford to buy the young players at the auction there there's a quotable quote simon core <laughs> equal to crore too much yeah, but too you know much. i think to just uh, further on what joy was saying you know i'm not a follower of the nba but i can look at other cricketing leagues and even if you look at say a canadian league you know that each franchise has some young canadian players who they are actually mentoring and they will do well no matter what the franchise does and it, at the end it will be good for canadian cricket which is what we are saying all the other franchises have these up and coming under 19 players or picked out of nowhere players and chennai are banking on loyalty and taking it to maybe a wrong extreme Yeah, and and that's their issue. Look, and it, it's very difficult to sit here and judge a franchise that has been so successful. What I what I what we're talking about now is it's 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 sad. It's 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 a little bit sad to watch and, and see that that they're just sort of starting to be on the back end of of what has been such an amazing run. They're at the back end of it. So, what is their succession planning? What is their future planning? And that's probably the one thing that we're worried about that they haven't done because. you know the IPL needs Chennai Super Kings and they need them to be strong because they've been such a great team to watch so we're looking at it from an outsider's point of view not as a fan just as a fan of the IPL not as a fan of Chennai and saying where's your succession planning where are these young kids that are coming through the one and only one you've probably tried to bring through and has been successful in the last 4 5 years is Deepak Chahar and and I can't really think of of too many others that have been young and and, and come through joy No, absolutely. And the one thing I have to say is that if you if you look down that lineup, here's my question: In 2021, after 21 season is over, let's forget what happened in 20. What happened in 21? Look down that list. Who are you going to retain? Yeah. Name the players you're going to retain. See, inter- retaining international players, unless they're so far out of the park, are very. Good. But if you look down that list, there's nobody I see. I mean, there are a lot of talented players out there. I admit. But there's nobody I see who's an automatic retention. Do you retain Deepak Chahar? You do, but you look at yourself and you ask yourself, you know what? You get Indian fast bowlers who can bowl swing, and you know it's not in a commodity that is definitely there. There's not a batsman you retain. If you retain Faf, he's 34 years old now, or he's 34, 35 years old. For the next three years, granted he's very fit, but do you pay 12 crores to retain him? So you look at this table and you ask yourself. who is there to retain and the question is almost you turn around and say no it's a clean slate you start from scratch now i'm not saying it's a bad thing but it's a completely new franchise up you you might look at i mean if you if you wanted to base your team around three overseas players who would be vastly experienced 
high in two years' time. You might say in Giri, Hazelwood, Curran. You know, you might look at those because you actually haven't paid huge money for those three players. And, and that might be okay. But where's the young Indian talent that I, that I see in every other team? Yeah, and the problem with that is the, the way the retention works in the IPL is you have to pay a fix X amount of money for player A, X amount for player B, X amount for player C. What happens is that money may not justify a Hazelwood, a Karne and Gitu. Because you need to pay that kind of money to batsmen who would, could likely be to play 15-20 overs to you. So that's the problem that they'll have staring at them at the end of this. Look, I know they probably knew this in 2018 to a certain amount extent because they knew that you know this is the way it's going to go. But uh, I think even they did not understand maybe this Zainer thing wouldn't have happened, Harvajan wouldn't have happened, that the perfect storm would hit them now. Perhaps they thought this is good enough to last a little bit more for them.